Alright, hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take any photo and give it a transparent background. This is going to be my first Photoshop tutorial, I hope to do some more in the future. Um, what that means, taking the background and making it transparent, is that we could take a photo like this for example and then make the background transparent, it'll look checkered. And what that means is if we have a text document for example, or any image file really, you could have the picture a picture for example and have um, the Apple logo on top of it without this white box so there would just be the plain um, Apple logo without the white box around it so I'm going to show you how to do that I'm sure that you probably know what a transparent background is seeing that you found this video so first we're going to need to open Photoshop we're going to go photo ph to find photo and we're just going to start up wait for it to load once it's started up we're going to need to open our image so we're going to press File, Open, the keyboard shortcut, so that is Control O. Press that, we're going to browse to the location where it is, and we're going to select it and press Open. There we have it. Now what we're going to need to do is take the layer, which is the background layer, and drag from where it says Locked and dump that into the bin. Now basically what that means is it unlocks it and it makes it much more movable and editable makes it quite easier if we have shadows in our picture for example now we're going to go to our eraser tool it's going to look like that for you guys and either we can hold our mouse down on it wait for this menu to come up select magic eraser tool or we can hold down right or press right click on it and then select the one we want so we want the one called magic eraser tool we're then going to go to the photo and click anywhere on the background where you want to remove and what it's going to do is delete the whole thing that looks like that. So the whole background will then be removed. And as you can see, it's gone checkered. What the checkered is, is it looks like um, it tells the computer or it tells you that that is what the, the transparent background is. Now we're going to need to save it. Now, only .png files can support transparent backgrounds. If you save it as a JPEG, it's not going to work. Um, I was doing a project once and I was kept saving it as a JPEG and it just it irritated me because there was no way that I could work around this issue where it wasn't saving the transparency. I'd set up the transparency in Photoshop but anyway just save it as a .png. So we're going to press file, save as. We're going to select the format to .png which is over there. Press OK. I'm going to save it in the same directory that we had it in so I'm just going to press save and you just press OK. Now if we re-go back to that folder we now have logo.png and if we open it up in my picture viewer you can see the whole background's black in comparison to that so that is what it looks like with the background and now you can see how effective this could be in a document for example if we had a picture on the background here and we could put the Apple logo over the picture um, without the background looking like that, that this white square getting in the way of the picture behind so this is a pretty cool thing, we can now import it into any type of document we want, yet it be a, a, dot, uh, a Microsoft Office Word document or whatever you want to use it in. You could even obviously use it in another Photoshop product, project if you want to, um, for example, have an, a picture in Photoshop and overlay this into Photoshop. Thanks for watching this video guys, please comment and subscribe.